On this Debaco University video, we're going to go over soluble salts' importance in a soil test report. All right, this image kind of shows some negative impacts of high soluble salts here, where this sidewalk has probably been treated with um, some salt, maybe in the winter time, and here it is the springtime. We can see an area here where the grass is not growing. This is an in indication here that the salts might be really high, uh, preventing this grass from being able to survive and grow along the sidewalk edge. So let's get into soluble salts' importance in a soil test report. So causes for elevated salt levels, you know, what's going to cause this? And we saw previously where it could be near a walkway, but let's look at this kind of from uh, other aspects that could cause this. Well, soluble salt levels might be elevated in areas close to roads where salt compounds are used for de-icing or where excessive fertilizer has also been applied. This can uh, form be in the form of traditional chemical fertilizer, but also organic amendments as well as, such as manure can also has elevated salt levels. So in some cases, organic amendments may be added at levels that increase soil salt levels greater than those gr using commercial fertilizer. This comes to a shock to a lot of people. Everyone thinks that just the commercial fertilizer is what's causing a lot of salts, but keep in mind natural manures can also contain high levels of salt, and if excessively added, can cause salt levels to be higher than those using commercial fertilizer. So elevated salt levels impact on plants. Well, high soluble salt levels can cause severe water stress and nutrient imbalances in plants. Basically, it's causing the water to essentially leave the root, causing it to kind of like dehydrate the plant. So we want to keep in mind that we can see here of control and increasing salt levels at a certain point where plants can become stunted, they can become yellowed, uh, that root structure will be poor. All of these can lead to reduced harvest and yields in your plants. So salt levels, uh, what do the numbers mean? So if you do take a you know, soluble salt level, what are we looking at as far as numbers and what are they kind of translating to? Well, it's an electrical conductivity that's typically um, given. You, you see this MMHO in over centimeters. And this is an electrical conductivity unit that stands for millimole uh, per centimeter that essentially measures total salts in solution. Now, if we're talking for mineral soils, low saline is considered less than 0.4. Slightly saline is 0.4 to 0.8. And this might cause some injury in salt-sensitive plants. Moderate saline is 0.81 to 1.2, and this will restrict growth of many plants. When we say restrict growth, reducing root structure, therefore reducing top growth. If you see any numbers above 1.2, this will likely result in severe plant damage. And levels can be reduced by repeated rainwater or irrigation that's known to be have low EC levels. So this does not mean it's necessarily detrimental to the plants forever. Uh, when you have to go through and dilute those total salts or basically flush them out of the soil profile, and that will help them to go back to the normal levels. Assuming you catch this early and salt levels aren't extremely high and you don't have a very salt sensitive crop. So again, keep this in mind for my those using commercial fertilizer, as well as those which often forget this, using organic fertilizers as well, your salt levels can become elevated uh, just as easily.